Good morning. Well, it's one of those kind of tides in Jersey where 37.7 foot today and the tide's gonna drop down to under a meter. We've got some menacing tides here where the tide can come all the way up, but it's gonna drop all the way out. And as you can probably see in the background, it's starting to really pull out and all the little rocks and gullies are starting to unfill. And hopefully today we're gonna find some lobsters, some scallops, some big clams, some razor fish. We got all the tools packed up. So me and Benny are just waiting on a couple more lads to come down and then we're gonna make our way out there. So a little bit of a first for us, a bit of foraging. We don't really do it that much, but we said this year that we we're gonna do it a little bit more. So the plan is to get out there and just to see what we can find. It's always good to have a little shellfish kind of size chart. This one's wrapped in sellotape just to make sure it doesn't get wet. As you can see here, it's got how many almonds you can take. Little size chart there, centimeters of the shellfish and we've got a ruler as well. So the plan is, is to get out there, follow the main gutter and get onto the very back of the reef. And you know, you don't see many people foraging around this area. We're hoping there's gonna be a lot of fish and crabs and stuff out there. So we've got a pretty overcast day. It's a little bit windy, but Hopefully we can uh, get into some lobsters and some crabs and you name it. Got the wind protector on because I suffer from really bad wind burn. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera off. We're going to get out there and then once we start foraging and looking for stuff, I will uh, put the camera back on. Well, as you can probably see, we are quite far out now. We've probably been walking for about 25 minutes, stopping and starting so the boys can get over in just their wellies. We are waded up waterproof bags a lot. But yeah, so the plan is I've got a stick. I'm just trying to find, you know, any big holes in the rocks and stuff like that. We're still not really that far out to be honest. So I don't see our chance to get anything around here too much. But the other plan is, is just to stick some lobsters, turn some rocks, maybe find some ormers. And then when the tide goes right down to just before low, we'll go look on the last bits of the sand beds and it's raining. Try and get some scallops and some clams and razor fish. So that's the plan. Here comes the rain. Huh? I reckon if you turn the rocks over here, you'd find a little bit of red cap. There you go. This one there. What is it? Little Orma? Oh yeah, a bit sticky. I don't know if he's too small. Yeah, there you go. First Orma of the day. Small, eh? I'm sure, do you want to get the ruler out? What's it saying? Um, yeah, get the cards. What does the Orma? Nine, Nine centimeters. And where's the Orma shell? Um, there. You go from side to side. Yeah, hold that, Tom. Just get a film out. That's close, like. Huh? Yeah, so oh, it's in just, just there. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, just in. Like. Yeah, he's just over. 
Nice. Beautiful. Um, there's a bag, a little bag in the side. A little armor, eh? <laughs> <laughs> First lobster of the day. You see him, Tommy? Yeah, oh, he's only a puppy, eh? Got proper cool blue. Oh, yeah, looking kicking. Pretty cool, eh? Put him back in. He's super cool, eh? actually put them over in some way, eh? Shank a shell. Look how purple that is inside. underneath as well oh, yeah. wait can you out the front of my bag there's a a little fork thing there's another one well underneath again but it's smaller uh, i'll come and get it it's all right they're not going to go anywhere what's that oh yes that's a nice one that's definitely nine centimeters and this one underneath They're beauties, eh? Yeah, really nice. Just gotta make sure that bag's there. That other one, but we'll leave that other one there. Yeah, there's two, but they're both from the same thing. Yeah, so. yeah, he's nearly 10. Oh, he's actually under. Just under. Come back, eh? Yeah. Oh, I don't know how it's uh, put down there. Hopefully it'll cool away, eh? Oh no, yeah. Nah, nothing in that one. I'll go for the small one. Uh, you going that way or? Uh, quite a lot of warmers in this area, so I'm raw wobbling all over rocks. Ted, easy roots, boys. What? A lobster? What, just sitting on the sand? Was he just cruising? Huh? Yeah, he's fine. Oh. No, mate, not scared today. The other, the other week, yeah, we went fishing, we thought we'd change her. Um, turn over some rocks, we found a lobster like this and we wouldn't pick it up. <laughs> we wouldn't. Us two, we were chasing it around for ages. Go on mate, let you go free. Go on boy. And 
another one that's tied to like a rock. Is that a little ballon rass, yeah? Oh, a cork wing. A cock wing. That's wild cool, honey. Got some nice colours. He's quite, if you can get him up in that sun. Where was he? Just in here? In the weed. Wow, well, that's well cool. Yeah, a real rassy, hey? Oh, there's so many boulders around here, it's good. Jersey in the background, that's where we came from. We're about a mile and a half out now. Tide's just ripping out slowly. Oh, loads of little shankies. Oh, one soft like a peeler. Yeah, this one's just peeled. Oh, mate, he's in like dormant. Look at that, feel him. Proper soft. Oh, yeah? That's weird. Peeler. That's probably his mate next to him. Go on, mate. Who's probably just about to peel. He was here probably to protect him as well. And thank you, him, love. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Go on, pups, we'll leave you in there. Hopefully, you don't get squashed by a rock. Yeah, get a bit of sand on top of you. There you go. Huh? <laughs> Not off that what's it called you went off. He was so soft. Another little ormond. There's loads of little fish around here. Look at that for a baby ormond. He's tiny. That is tiny. Everyone's seen mine, yeah. Probably about the size of that. He's like a chicken nugget of an orma. Let's put you back and turn your little rock over. There you go. Well, we're closing down on the low tide point. I actually only turned the camera on because behind that reef right over there, there's a load of birds working. You can see them dipping and diving. Not just up high, but diving. There might be a little bit of sand here out there or something like that, but the boys are coming around the rocks. I'm just wading with my little hook. It's not been the most productive day so far. We've caught. Hey man, hey Puerto. I'm getting bombarded by the boys. Jabbling bomb. What we said we were going to do at the start, we were going to look for some ormers and then about an hour before low, we were going to come out onto the sand beds and see if we can find any scallops. So we had a really big blow over the last few days. So big swell. So I'm hoping there might be some washed up on the sides on the sand. Beggars, begging, begging, begging. That's sweaty work. I'm just looking around you might see a lobster we've not seen many lobsters today only two small ones so mate this place is full of that those purple and green sea anemones yeah, they're everywhere look at that one in the water I like the stringy one. Man. You're probably what the stringy stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's like pepper. proper sea lettuce, isn't it? What this one tastes like pepper? No. Like, Didn't you say like pretty much every seaweed in Jersey you can yeah. eat? 
fact, like he just wanted some reassurance there. That's all he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be. Like I'm not too sure. You're gonna switch it to the normal mode. Old Ori, old oyster shell. Wow, it's just like a different day. That sun's decided to come out. Pray to the scallop gods, sun. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Well, I was just walking along here and I come across a lobster in the shallows. I was coming, come on, Benny. Here he is. Well, bigger. Yeah. He was just cruising around in the shallows. Biggest one today, anyway. I'll just get him. Oh, he's really soft. Oh, we've got. We've got. He's, re he's really soft, mate. Really soft. I probably won't hold him too long, you know. Yeah, he's really soft. Yeah, yeah go on and get him in the net and then don't want to hurt him too much, you know. Maybe just get him out, mate, and then because he's, really, he's, he's so soft. I don't really want to hurt him, you know. He's pretty shedding his skin. Oi, wait, wait there. Yeah, it's, it's live. Isn't it? It's live, isn't it? Yeah. It's tiny though. You can't keep that. I think it's got to be about ten centimeters for them. Might see some more though, eh? Hopefully, it's a really good sign. formations of the sea. It looks kind of tropical. Wind and tow, it's a pretty windy day. It's a proper graveyard though of clams, loads of shells in these areas, so hopefully we can find something else. That's an old oyster shell. That would have been a nice one. Yeah. It would have been a really nice one. You bit me. Second one, he's a beast. He was just sitting in the sand, look at him opening. He was sitting in the sand like a little bit open and then the lankinator got him. As I was saying, the water doesn't really go too much further out so if they are here they're gonna be nice he's proper opening up in that but it's pretty cool eh 
we're literally at the low tide point now we're in this big pool and it's quite sandy and we're finding loads of shells and a couple of scallops here and there nice tasty big scallop that one was just sitting in the sand just looking bit of wreckage video and I can just hear you making shagging noise <laughs> in the background like I'll put that in the video you know <laughs> <laughs> well it's low tide now so we're all going to decide to make our way back the boys have just started to head back over the rocks and over the reef but it's like the minkies it's amazing it's just so it's like another world and it's crazy how far the tides come out that rock over there there's a rock that we uh, kayak out to, that's the Gaia Rock. We had some really good sessions around there and that, so we found loads of other things, lobsters, really soft lobster that we put back, we took loads of care of. Uh, yeah, good, good session. I'm gonna make my way back over to where the boys are. Probably actually just see where I live in the background, see those white towers somewhere over there. That's where I live, so I'm gonna make my way back. It's been a good session.